now that we know how Kanban works, we have to know next how many Kanban cards do we need. Well, for that we just need to apply Little's law. Little's law says that WIP is given by the product of flow time and flow rate. Now, flow rate is given by the demand rate. We want to produce exactly what our customers demand, so flow rate equals demand rate. And then flow time, well, flow time consists of waiting time and processing time. So that results in the following formula for the number of Kanban cards. We have it given here as first part, flow rate is AD, average demand, demand rate, divided by the container quantity CQ. Because we assume that for one Kanban card, a number CQ of items are attached to it. That can be, we of course aim for a lot size and a container quantity of one, but in many cases, as we know already, we have to batch and our container quantity will be more than one. So AD over CQ, that's our flow rate. And then we multiply that with waiting time plus processing time, giving us the flow time. And then in the end, to account for variability, we're going to inflate that number a bit uh, and multiply it with one plus a certain safety factor. And if you have no variability, then that safety factor as S can be zero. And if you have a lot of variability, that safety factor S can be one or even more. Let's apply this to a simple example. Let's assume we have a product with a daily demand rate of a thousand units. And we have one working shift per day of eight hours, so eight hours per day. Then let's assume that production takes one hour for that product and that waiting time before being produced is also one hour. And then also let's assume that production happens in batches of 50 units and then 50 units is our container quantity. And finally, to keep it simple, let's assume there's no variability, so we don't need a safety factor. Well then, of course, the number of Kanban cards we need in this example is flow time multiplied with flow rate, as in Little's law, giving us the desired amount of WIP. So flow rate is, well, 1,000 units per day, but we have 50 units uh, per Kanban card, that's our container quantity. So 1,000 divided by 50, that's 20. 20 Kanban cards per day is our flow rate. And then flow time, well, flow time is one hour of processing, one hour of waiting, so two hours. Uh, two hours is one fourth of a day, one quarter of a day. And so in the end, that gives us a flow rate of 20 multiplied with a flow time of one quarter of a day. So in the end, we have five Kanban cards for this simple example. Now, in the next video, we'll take a look at a more extensive and more realistic Kanban card count uh, example, where we have multiple products and where we have changeover times on the machine, which complicate matters a bit.